What's up, guys? Sleeps here with episode 101, and we start this episode off signing Di Natale for 15k. I got him in an open bid, but uh, I forgot to start up my PBR, so I just showed you there. He did see, got him for 15k, so we put him in the squad, taking Mikli's spot, simply because I don't want to take Hernandez out because Hernandez is a lefty, and we'll have Di Natale and Hernandez up front. I'd rather have that. Enjoy Hernandez while I still have him, as he is pretty much the only decent left-footed striker in Serie A so we have them two up front but the Serie A squad needs rest nonetheless so we go into a match against this guy in a 4-4-2 but in a league one squad with Remy, Briand, Inform, Valbuena so not a bad team at all lots of pace up front and we open up the scoring there through Torres good ball over the top to him I don't know if you noticed there but he kind of moved his center back out of position and that completely left him open so Torres finishes that chance and he equalizes very shortly after. I was very frustrated, but it's just one of those things where I can do nothing. Ferdinand has the first touch. It just set, sits down for Valbuena, and Valbuena finishes it. But no worries, because we take the lead again after that through Torres. Torres was just uh, our, the man of the match, this one. On top of everything, some good passing. Torres finds some space, feed it through to him, and that's a nice finish. That good little flicked finesse shot into the corner of the net. Torres picking up his second, and he picks up his third here. Again, some good passing. Good good ball there from, from uh, Van Persie. First time, just get that ball up the pitch. Torres with the chop. Torres finishing it with his weak foot across the keeper to pick up his hat trick in the 68th minute. And we get ourselves one more here, but it is through Van Persie. Try to do a roulette here. He fouls me. We pick up a free kick. And I haven't really scored too many free kicks with Van Persie, but he has a pretty good free kick on him. He has great curve and power, but his free kick accuracy is only 80, which is kind of surprising. I know they brought that down a lot more that from FIFA 11, but nonetheless, doesn't take away from his free kicks. And he scores to give us a three-goal lead over this guy, and that's how it ended. 4-1, satisfied with that. And uh, we pick ourselves up that game, 783 coins as we build and build up on that DNF. And uh, this next game was uh, a very good game, as you will see. You see there the DNF's only at 1.10. But this next game is a very good game, and uh, really can't wait to get into it. Uh, we switch over to the Serie A squad, and the guy we come across also had a Serie A squad, as you see there. Very evenly matched teams. He's in a 4-4-2 with Pato and Di Natale up front, Krasic on the wing, and he has a Liga defense. But uh, as you see here, this is pretty much one of the most, uh, I don't know how to say really, just I completely dominated, we'll just put it that way. And right there in the fourth minute, Di Natale scoring on his debut to give us a very early, early lead. And uh, you'll see... I get three goals here within the first 10 minutes against this guy. Very funny stuff. I tried to do a nice goal here with Javatic, and he took me out. I was going to go for a nice volley following the rainbow flick, but he takes me out. Give, awarded me a penalty. Yes, you deserve that yellow card, Cavallio. That is disgusting. Look at this tackle. I mean, come on now. So Vidal steps up and takes the penalty. Surprisingly enough, I didn't know Vidal was going to be my best. I thought Snyder or Di Natale would be the best, but uh, Vidal has 88 pen, so... Vidal's going to take it. Vidal steps up, and Vidal scores. So that gives us a two-goal lead in the seventh minute. And then in the ninth minute, we get our third from Hernandez. We pass that up to him. There's the one-two. He's in on goal. And as you see, he was kind of just giving up. I guess he was discouraged already that I had scored two goals within the first seven minutes. And that's three goals in within ten minutes. So Hernandez picking up a goal there. And then after this, we kind of went on a little bit of a dry spell until right before halftime. And Chiellini gets himself on the score sheet, a good corner, and Chiellini finishes that off. And that was right before halftime. Chiellini with the celebration, and then after halftime, what he decided to do was uh, just... Oh no, we get one more before halftime, look at this. Some skills from Javatic, he tries to finish, and it's saved. Snyder picks it up, and I just kind of taking a piss here, I guess, waiting for him. Waiting, and then that's a good finish from Snyder, beautiful. Uh, with his left, doing some skills, making him look silly. But now this is what I'm saying. After halftime, he decided to just hold the ball at the back. The entire time, he was just trying to pass it between his back four and his goalkeeper. And I don't care. I'm going to take advantage of this. And I was not too happy about it. I was not looking forward to waiting all an entire half while he just passed it around. So I decided to just get as many goals as I could. And Cambiaso picking himself up one there. 
and we get ourselves another penalty here. Bad tackle again, and he takes me out. Hernandez awarded the penalty. I mean, you can see very clearly that's a very bad tackle. And Carvalho, I don't know how he's not getting a red. How are you not getting a red? You picked up a yellow earlier. How are you not getting a red card for that ref? Come on now. EA, sort that out. The refs in this game are horrible. But Vidal scores that easily, going left as usual. A little bit of a booty dance. And on to our next goal. And again, as you see here, he's just passing it around. And this is a nice finish from Di Natale, regardless. We try to finish it there. It's saved. And then look at that. Nice finish. Just a, just a nice little skilled finish. Comes in off the post. Good goal from Di Natale. And right here, we did, I was doing short corners because I was trying to keep possession of the ball. I did not want him to end up with it. And right there, he fouls me again. As you see, he was just not enjoying this game at all. And uh, right here, we put Snyder on the free kick. And I wasn't really looking to float it into the net here. I just wanted to try and power it and put a little bit of side spin on it. Hoping it would either come off the keeper's gloves or some type of error would be made in the box and it would go in. And that's what happened. Snyder scores. It came off of one of his defenders. And it, the goal was awarded to Snyder. But it's a good free kick nonetheless. It did what I expected it to do. So that's good. And I was pushing for that 10th. I wanted to score 10 goals against this guy. So we pass it short here to Dean and Tyler from the corner. And here's some step over action. One step over. Two step over. And he finishes with his left nicely. Right in the corner of the net. So I think I think that was Dean Tyler's hat trick right there. So hat trick on his debut. Uh, that's good to see regardless of how it was scored. He shouldn't have been passing around his back four And normally I would just sit back and wait But I just couldn't be bothered this time and I wanted to score as many goals as I possibly could So 10 nil was the end of the scoring finally and we pick ourselves up 982 coins Which is not bad at all considering we don't have full DNF if I had full DNF I think I'd be close to the 1100 range that would have been a very good take for that game, but that's going to be it for this episode. I only put two goals or two games this episode because of how many goals were scored in that second game. So if you enjoyed it, don't forget to leave it a like. Subscribe to my channel if you haven't already. And I'll catch you guys next time. Thanks for watching.